I have a question for the three of you. Was this city's time? You know, I, they have struggled no. to get to the final before. Uh, I viewed it. I viewed it a bit differently. Their chance? I think this is uh, the moment where Manchester City fans feel the heartbreak of football. It's been a while since they felt that winning numerous Premier Leagues. You know, the Aguero moment. I mean, Carabao Cup. What about, Cups, what about their, their times at Champions League, though? The yes, that's, that, is, that is true. You're not wrong. But the, when you get to a final, it's a bit more emotional because you're but so all, close. Yeah, and it's also when they lost those other Champions League finals. Or not finals, the Champions League games in the past few years and everything. Yeah. It's just be, it's their own fault. Like, they yes. blew it. They I, absolutely blew it. This was just a little more saddening. The way I view it, sorry, Lucas, is that they lost this final, but I think they will go on next year to win it. Right now, I'm feeling um, they remind yeah. me. Sorry, sorry. Look, sorry Liverpool. <laughs> L- Liverpool. Is that they, what you're gonna yeah, say though? They, they, yeah, they remind me of Liverpool in 2018. They won in the next year, uh, and Bayern Munich in 2012 when they lost at Chelsea, and they went on to win in 2013. So I feel like that's what's gonna happen here. Well, it's, I, I don't even mean to keep it, <laughs> but like, we know what who City is targeting in the transfer window. A amazing striker in either Harry Kane or Holland or anything. Imagine one of those going up front with that city team. You could actually cross the ball. Into yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Liam, let's let Lucas speak. Can I open my mouth without uh, <laughs> speaking too early? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I kind of agree with Waz. Like, they could, this could be like a Liverpool situation. I see it more as a Liverpool situation compared to a Spurs because this isn't the end of a cycle for, for Manchester oh, God, City. No. Not at all. No. This is a team, they had their bad season last year. They had a great season this year. They're, they're, they still have the relatively same amount of players. They're going to probably build upon this season. Some older players are leaving like Aguero, but they, they'll probably be able to replace but, them pretty easily. But, but like someone like Phil Foden is, that's a, a, another season yeah. of experience. Like, yeah, under Foden, his dad, Bernardo yeah. Silva. And the I mean, thing is, you know, I, I doubt Diaz. another Mad City player, will, um, another Mad City youth player will come through, but they, they do have a good academy going on right now, so you never know what might come up I mean, next they season. do have Delap who's coming through. Yeah. A, he's a striker, and um, he, he not as good at throw-ins as Rory Delap because uh, apparently <laughs> parents got mad at t- him when he did throw-ins when he was younger, <laughs> so he stopped them. <laughs> kind of random. But, but, but suppose he's a really one... promising striker. My one asterisk about City coming back stronger. I think they'll have a much, much more difficult season next year in the Premier League. We look at Liverpool with a healthy squad. They'll be much more difficult. United, they spend a little bit of money. They'll be a a title contender. Fuck, I hope Uh, so. Chelsea are going to be definite uh, title contenders. The Premier League, I'm going to say top six, are going to be so difficult and so tight next season that City's going to have to work Every single week, we we have not seen a city like we have this season where they've dropped so many points and still won the Premier League. City dropped that many points next year, I don't think they win the Premier League. So City will have to be perfect every single week in the Premier League and in Champions League. And I don't know if they can. i got to be honest. I don't know if they will be able to. Those questions are always going to be, you know... Ask Canada, can they do it again? This and that. I, I just, I think they have the quality. They, they, they were there. They were yes, the I, I, I get you what I mean, but I feel like losing a final, it, 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 that hunger will be there, right? It's not like Dortmund in 2013 when they lost a final. You think they can go back, but the difference between Man City and Dortmund is that Dortmund was ready to sell players off. Yes. Like Lewandowski. Man City, I don't see them selling any of these players. No. Except for, you know, obviously, Aguero. Maybe Sterling. Maybe. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, and then if they do sell, they'll have more than competent replacements. It's not. The it, fuck I don't have. I don't care. have an issue. I don't have an issue with the the Man City squad. I have yeah. an issue with. Can it be just too much? Week in week out. We'll, after we'll Euros, find out. We'll find you know, out. That's the thing. Yeah, the and uh, and interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess the last thing to say is, is fair play to Chelsea. You they guys react. had a fantastic. Yeah. End it of the so season. Good. What's yeah. uh, what's what's kind of cool is now this is the third German manager in a row to win the Champions League, which is interesting. Yeah. You know, the Germans they they, they seem to know how to they're, they're pretty good at the managing thing. Except so, Yugi Lov. Yugi Lov can can leave whenever he wants. Oh, he was pretty good, but you know, some some may say it was because of uh, Hansi Flick in 2014. <laughs> but yeah. he, he's past his prime. You know, he's past his expiration date. The way I view it. At the end of the day, like Greg said, congratulations to Chelsea. You are champions of Europe. Yeah. Commiserations to City. I'm now, sure you will be back sooner rather than later. 
But we uh, should stick on the topic of Manchester, though. No, no, no. One question for you guys. Who was your man of the match? Mine, N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante. It's N'Golo Kante, but Kai yeah. Havertz gets a second shot. I mean, I don't really disagree with you guys. I, I, I want yeah, to play one a- thing before we go on to City, because this was the funny moment Liam uh, brought up. Brought up from uh, the final. Kai Havertz when asked about his uh, little deal. I think I still have it on my phone. Let me check here. Uh, yeah, I have it. Yeah, basically, if you missed what the reporter asked, he's like, do you feel like you paid back your $80 million in, uh, price tag? He says, I don't give a shit. I just won the Champions League. <laughs> Speak some good English, so, honestly. I mean, yeah, no, not most Germans do, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, Germans are smart. Point, though. It's, don't ask Shout me to Fabian. questions. I just want a fucking Champions League. Piss off. Yeah.